Hi friends, welcome to Praveen Traveler. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, press the subscribe button. Hi friends, welcome to Praveen Traveler. Today I am going to explain Lambasinghe full tour plan. Lambasinghe is a small village in Chintapalli Mandal of Visakhapatnam district in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. People used to call this place as Lambasinghe, but the original name is Lambasinghe. This Lambasinghe got the name Andhra Kashmir due to the climatic condition. Namely, this is a village of Visaka Agency, but it is a village of natural beauty. Now I am going to explain the route plans to reach Lambasinghe. The first route plan is from Arku. From Arku we have to reach Padaru and then Narsi Patnam. From Narsi Patnam we have to reach Lambasinghe by Narsi Patnam Chintapalli Road. The second route plan is from Vijayawada. From Vijayawada to Rajmandri, then Nanavaram, reach Narsi Patnam via Tuni. From Narsi Patnam, we have to reach Lambasinghe by Narsi Patnam Chentapalli Road. The third route plan is from Hyderabad. From Hyderabad to Kamam, then Badrachalam, then Dongkrai, and then Sileru, we can reach Lambasinghe. The fourth route plan is from Maredimilli. From Maredmilli to Motugodam, then Dongkarai, then Sileru, we have to reach Lambasinghe by Narsi Patnam Chintapalli Road. The fifth route plan is from Visakhapatnam. From Visakhapatnam to Ankapalli, then Makavaram, and then Narsi Patnam. From Narsi Patnam, we can reach Lambasinghe by Narsi Patnam Chintapalli Road. Lambasinghe viewpoint, if we see around the hills, while the fog is moving, it is like a milky sea flowing there. The view from here is very pleasant to watch. Before we reach Lambasinghe, First, we will reach a viewpoint that is cloudy viewpoint. There, we can see the clouds moving. That will be a beautiful view to watch. After this viewpoint, we will reach a check post and then we will see an Hanuman temple. From the right side of the temple, if you travel a little bit, we will reach the entrance of the viewpoint that is Lambasinghe viewpoint. This Lambasinghe viewpoint entrance is near to government school. After watching the Lambasinghe viewpoint, if we travel a little bit from the entrance of the viewpoint, we will reach the strawberry farm. If we travel approximately 7 km from the Lambasinghe, we will reach Tajangi Reservoir. If you can see this Tajangi Reservoir early in the morning, you can see only the fog that covered the whole water. It is just like a painting. But we should be very careful at the reservoir because there is no safety wall. If we go near to it, 
in the fall we may slip and fall in the water after visiting the tajengi reservoir we can reach kothapalli waterfalls to reach kothapalli waterfalls from lamasinghe first we have to reach lodgadda junction from there we can reach the kothapalli waterfalls easily there is another waterfall while reaching lambasinghe from narsipatnam on the narsipatnam chintapalli road there is yarravaram waterfall to watch the lambasinghe view point we have to stay before night in the lambasinghe there are plenty of rooms available in lambasinghe and tajengi the rooms are also available in between lambasinghe and tajengi There are plenty of rooms eco rooms camping tents are available here In the weekdays the rent will be 1200 to 1500 and in the weekends 2500 to 3500 better visit in the weekdays to reserve the rooms in the in lamasinghe and near tajengi reservoir i am displaying the details of the persons so you can call them and reserve your rooms And that's it for today. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you friends and I will see you in the next video.